What's going on YouTube, Bert here, and in today's video, we are going over the unique weapon from the seasonal event of Meat Week, the Pepper Shaker, with my in-game build to go along with it. But before we get into the video, make sure you smash that like button with the false 96 can we can see this, and subscribe for more false 96 content. Let's get into it. Starting off everything, the first target on my list for the demonstrations is the level 75 Scorched Overseer that goes by the name Bessie. And as you can see, Bessie can do absolutely nothing to me, so I'm going to stretch straight through her. Oh my god, Bessie, can you not withstand the power of the Pepper Shaker? All right, let me just reload. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, now, with this gun, you want to be extremely close with them because it is a shotgun. So, with shotguns, you get more damage up close. And I do not recommend using it in vats unless you're outside of power armor. But just like that, Bessie is no more. Now, let's move on to our next target. Next up, we have the level 100 degree glowing behemoth that goes by the name Arthur. And we're just going to start blasting Arthur to death. Look at that. Oh, poor, poor Arthur. And just like that, Arthur is no more. The next wasteland sickle in our list for the demonstrations is the level 100 miler queen that goes by the name of mrs krabs and holy crap i think something just glitched because i had a full set of ammo okay but now let me just uh, blow off her legs there we go look oh poor poor miler queen doesn't look like you can withstand the power of the pepper shaker but i would like it if your friends would get off me please and thank you there we go, we'll just, you know, give him a love tap real quick to let him know what's coming for him. And we'll kill her, and just like that, the Myrler Queen is no more. This is a gun in all of its glory, and now let's get into my entire build. Over in the weapon, this is it. This is my 3-star legendary pepper shaker that we're using for the video, and the main legendary effect is a bloodied effect, which is damage increases as your health decreases, has a 25% faster fire rate, and it also has a 15% faster reload. This pepper shaker is amazing, and the mods that we went with is the hex barrel, plasma magazine, standard sights, and the default appearance. Over in the normal perk cards, these are all the normal perk cards that make up my in-game heavy gunner build that we use for the pepper shaker. Starting off in strength, we have 15 and this so can have an assortment of shotgunner and heavy gunner perk cards to get the max amount of damage out of this build over in perception we have three and this so can have skeet shooter maxed out your shotguns have excellent accuracy and spread over in endurance we have six and this so can have fireproof maxed out take 45 percent less damage from explosions and flame attacks we have radical maxed out the greater the rats the greater the strength and max plus five to strength we have kim fiend at two stars any kims you take last 60 percent or longer and we're taking overdrive and psycho bus over in charisma we have seven and this so can have lone wonder maxed out when adventuring alone take 20% less damage and gain 30% AP regen. We have Tenderizer maxed out. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 6 and this so can have Nerd Rage maxed out. While below 20% health, gain 40 damage resist, 20% damage, and 15% AP regen. We have Stabilize maxed out. And Power Armor, Heavy Guns gain excellent accuracy and ignore 45% armor. Over in Agility, we have 14 and this so can have Action Boy maxed out. Action Points regenerate 45% faster. Your Shotguns gain 15% Stagger Chance and a 30% chance to cripple limb. We have Adrenaline maxed maxed out, gain a plus 10% to max 60% of damage for 30 seconds per kill, duration refreshes with kills. We have dodgy maxed out, avoid 30% of incoming damage at the cost of 30 action points per hit. Over in luck we have 15 and this will can have bloody mess maxed out. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory red pace. We have better criticals maxed out, bats criticals now do plus 40% to damage. We have one gun army maxed out, heavy guns gain 12% stagger chance and a 12% chance to cripple limb. We have ricochet maxed out, gain 18% chance to deflect back something for enemies range damage no pvp we have class freak at one star your negative effects of your mutations are reduced by 25 percent and we have starch genes maxed out you'll never mutate from rads and rado will never cure your mutations but this is it these are all the normal perk cards that make up my in-game pepper shaker heavy gunner build now let's get into the legendary perk cards over in the legendary perk cards these are all the legendary perk cards that help make up my in-game heavy gunner build starting off in intelligence we have that at two stars we have endurance maxed out strength at one star luck at two stars electric absorption at one star and far flung fireworks at two stars these are the legendary perk cards now let's get into my mutations and my armor over the mutations these are all the mutations that i'm using for the build the only ones i can recommend for you is adrenal reaction healing factor marsupial skelly skin and speed demon over in the armor what i'm using is a full set of t60 overeaters power armor but technically you can use any power armor whatsoever and it doesn't even have to be legendary and it'll be just fine with this build but the reason i'm using overeaters is because it says increases damage reduction up to six percent as you fill your hunger and thirst meters and if you eat a perfect bubble gum your hunger and thirst meters will be filled for 60 minutes so you won't ever have to worry about it but this is it this is the pepper shaker in all of its glory and if you want to know a legacy pepper shaker which means it's explosive i will link it in the video right now you see that that is the legacy pepper shaker